Mel Blanc was a, a voice man, of course. Now, if you, have, if you work in our industry, especially in, in, in the commercial end of it, you find that the, um, uh, the, the actors, the voices, are very jealous of, of, of their voice and of, and of their job. And, um, and so they're, you know, they're just self-centered, I guess I would say. Well, Mel Blanc is just the opposite. Mel Blanc is the type of guy that is, sometimes, you know, we'd be doing a, some kind of a, a voice thing, and he say, you know, he says, I really can't do this the way it should be, but I have a friend who has a, a great voice and he would be perfect for this. And so we'd call him and sure enough, he'd have, get a job for that friend. And also Mel was always dabbling in, in oil, you know, buying shares in oil and gas and whatnot. And he was always sharing, he was always telling you, no, buy, buy this and you're gonna make money. He was always encouraging people, see, and he was very unselfish. And on top of that, he was very funny. <laughs> I used to always kid him about his, uh, his Mexican accent. <laughs> I say, Mel, I said, you are the worst Mexican I've ever met. See, he say, no. <laughs> yeah, this great, uh, but I think that he singly is the one that made the, the Warner Brothers product so successful. I think he was the most, you know, the, the single most creative input that made made the Warner Brothers product so good, because because almost every voice in in in, in each show would, would be Mel. He's talking against himself. <laughs> but he was Daffy Duck, and he was he was Daffy Duck. But he would be talking to Bugs Bunny, who was Bugs Bunny, and uh, uh, he was great. He was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful human being.